We're here at Let's Race for the eSports and Cars F1 training day. One of the things that we want to do is really invest in eSports. So we brought along experts in their fields to help our new signings become more professional. They've even had me talking to them about my experiences in real racing and virtual racing. Esports racing is being professionalised and we want to be at the forefront of that. So today we've got Simon Fitchett here. Simon's worked in F1 for many, many years in the real world. We've brought his expertise in terms of physical conditioning but also mental conditioning to help these guys. I think looking at uh, both disciplines, they both share uh, a vital importance and that's them preparing mentally. Um, they want to, to absolutely be able to perform at their, mentally at their optimum. It's that old saying, you know, healthy body, healthy mind. The Formula One drivers are um, incredibly fit. They have daily routines, they, they train. Everything is, is regimented and they follow it um, scrupulously. Now the gamers need to do this as well, to really look at all areas of their life and improve it all where they can. The physical side is the easy side. Anyone can be fit and anyone can just train, follow the right programs, nutrition wise as well, and they can be fit. It's really the, 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 the top, the, the last two inches of our, of our bodies that, that make the difference to the mind. And that's where they really need to be at their optimum levels because it's the difference between winning and losing. These guys are used to racing in their bedrooms and now they're going to be racing in front of the world's media against each other under a real, real pressure. So Simon's help is going to be about them reducing that pressure and hopefully giving them an advantage against the other guys that haven't had that training. If they reach the levels that they're capable of, they will be world famous, they will be you know, household names in gaming and that will bring with it a lot of attention and, and mentally that is, that is a huge mental challenge because at the moment they're used to, to, to getting on the simulators, racing, but to have tens, hundreds of thousands of people either watching or know that they're watching through TV, it's, it adds another dimension to, to what they're having to achieve because of course they want to win, they want to do their best. They need to be able to overcome this obstacle to be able to perform, be relaxed, focused and composed the other person we've got here today is Natalie. Natalie has been in the media industry as a PR expert for nearly 20 years. These guys have had no media training. They have not ever spoken to a journalist before, so how do they act? Natalie's here to give them some pointers about how to do that, give them some scenarios. And what we've said to them is, don't change. Be yourselves, keep your personality, but there's a few things that you can do to make sure that you don't get yourself in trouble, get the team in trouble, or get your sport in trouble. But most importantly, have fun. And that's why we're here at Let's Race. Uh, Let's Race is the UK's only full motion simulator centre. We use up-to-date software, uh, similar to that of the F1 teams. But you're able to drive against nine other drivers and race on real life circuits in real F1 cars, but in a simulated setting. It's great to partner with eSports and cars and have some of their drivers try out our simulators. These full motion simulators are fabulous because I get to understand the full feeling of an F1 driver and how they sit, how they have their pedal position, as well as their feeling through the wheel and how the car moves around underneath them. I am really enjoyed by the lessons of uh, media training and uh, the discussing with the metal coaching of, uh, of Simon. I uh, managed to get some decent knowledge through Darren's pep talk and it's, it's also nice to meet him today. And then further on, we managed to have some viral you go around with the batter with the reactions and everything that was pretty nice well this is another level of simulator compared to what i have at home so yeah this is really really good like one in a lifetime opportunity if i would say 